Hello folks, Never Summer here. Welcome to another movie of the Free Wing ERC FA18 Super Hornet. Um, this is right now the ready version. It's uh, pretty much ready to fly. Just have to sort out the elevators, do a bit uh, trimming on the vector frost system, and then she's pretty much ready to go. Now, um, I was or oh, someone asked basically um, for frost tests now um, as I as far as I know nothing like this so far exists on YouTube so on this particular aircraft so right now I'm gonna be doing such a movie to uh, show the frost on a uh, Castle Creations 100 amp Phoenix Ice ESC and the stock fan which is uh, the free wing. Now, from yesterday, uh, people actually saw, or you, you actually could see from my pictures, that the, um, it provides about 1400 watt and consumes about 67 amps. Now, this is a fully charged 4000 milliamp 25C nanotech battery success. And for this one here, you can see. In here is the ESC. It's still a lot of cable salad. Don't worry about this for now. It will get sorted out a bit later. For right now, uh, we're just going to go ahead. Uh, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to put down the camera because I can't hold the plane and give frost in the same time and actually showing you guys in a nice, basically, uh, um, way how this plane actually behaves uh, while I'm giving full frost okay so I'm gonna be putting the camera down on the table and I will be giving myself some uh, some frost uh, towards uh, on, on the plane and we're gonna make a few quick uh, tests about how this plane is actually behaving with the stock setup except of course uh, the new ESC uh, I'm not using the stock ESC for the moment um, because the plane will get upgraded hopefully uh, soon and for this time right now we're just gonna I'm just gonna use it as it is um, with two different and uh, brand new servos for the elevators like I mentioned before so uh, without me talking right now too much uh, we're just gonna go ahead I'm gonna take the plane I'm gonna put down the camera and we'll see how this actually works out so right now I'm just gonna turn the camera like this so hopefully everybody can see see it the way it is supposed to be so I'm just gonna take the plane right there so <clears throat> I'm gonna pull up the retract There you go. So let's see how it works. Not all too bad, pretty loud. Um, almost one to one, I'd say. Mm, not too bad, I reckon. Could be a bit better. Um, I might check the, the timing, see if I can get a bit uh, more out of this plane without having to um, 
well, draw too much from the SC, uh, basically from the battery. So um, yeah, there's a lot of things still that need to get done. They will get done soon. Um, it won't fly till about the end of November because I'll be away. But for right now, we're just gonna make another quick test. I'm gonna put the camera a little bit more backward and we'll see how this actually turns out when I'm gonna put it right there. So let me just turn it around and uh, let's see. One step down. That might work a bit better. Oh, well, there you go. Ah, another stress test, pretty much. Plain. ESC still remains to be just a little bit warm, not too much. It's not too bad. It's actually fairly good. We're just gonna leave it like this, it is, as it is for now. Gonna have to make a few changes to the plane right now anyway. Uh, mixing the both elevators together because the servos are the same, they're not reversed. So uh, yeah, just gonna see how it will fly once it's ready. And um, well, I hope that was a bit helpful to uh, some of you guys to show what is the thrust ratio on this plane. It's actually not too bad, it's about the same or a bit more than the Eurofighter is. I think, but however, the, um, the EDF unit is not as balanced because it's about 30% throttle. I get um, quite some bit of vibration going on on the plane, so um, on the actual blades, um, the whole plane vibrates. Anyhow, this is it for the right now, guys. The FA-18 from Freewing, Super Hornet, uh, bought from Hobby Lobby. Hope you enjoyed this movie and till then, never summer out.